so today I'm here for my Wear Chronicles unboxing for the month of August. I actually got this box yesterday, but I wasn't as excited because I got spoiled on Instagram for what's in the box. And like, yes, the book is what I guessed it was going to be, and I did see a few of the bookish items, but honestly, I only just got my box and I got spoiled on Friday. And it is Tuesday now when I only got it yesterday, and I wasn't really that keen to film my unboxing yet, so I waited until today when I would have had light but then I dyed my hair and it took a lot longer than I expected and I have to use the artificial lighting anyway but I'm just really annoyed that people find the need to post spoilers about the box when like not everyone's gonna have them yet and it just like really upset me but I'm still excited to get the box and I didn't see all the bookish items but just seeing the book though before you get to see it for yourself is just really upsetting. I was in a pissy mood for the past couple of days but now I have the box and I'll be able to see what's in there even though I know what the book is but I'll still be, oh my god, there's a dagger in here, mate. <laughs> what the hell? Oh my god, what is going on? I did not know about the dagger. <laughs> oh my god, that's what the inside looks like. So I still, there's a few surprises in there. It's very flimsy though, like we have a dagger, but it's like, what? Oh my god, I can be like Aileen now, have a little dagger, just... I feel like I'm going to break this. I wish this thing came off though. That would have been actually so cool if we could have like had this come off and be like, ooh, dagger, but literally a dagger. Okay, this is our bookmark. So we have pirates and magic, which is the theme. And this has got like a compass on it. And then this is a spoiler card with some pirate stuff going on. We've got this thingy. I think are these like ice trays or like cupcake trays or something? So they saying that you can use this for ice cubes or use it to make chocolates or use it to like make candles or use it to make soap. Probably gonna stick, stay away from using it for stuff that's non-food related, but like this is pretty cool. We have a little pin. Oh my god, so the, I'm pretty sure this was like an alien inspired pin if I read that correctly on the sheet. How do you open it? Too much effort. So you've got like the little fire abilities and the little hand happening there which is pretty cute. So this is this packet of like stuff so you put it in and the flames become all really cool colours. And it's really good because where I live, I have a fire every day but that's inside but we are actually in the process of building a deck and then we're going to fill in a fire pit area. So once we have the fire pit, it's going to be lit up in here. I also have a candle from the book hanger so it says rapid me mean meander. Rapid Amanda, is that what it means? I think it's expired by like the ship of the book. And it is sea salt, lime, and wood. Okay, it's gonna be like, ooh, oh, mate, look, it's pretty. Oh, that's really nice. And the book hangar is like actually the Wild Chronicles store. Like the girls run their own candle store as well, which is really cool. I've also got this thingy. Hello, lovely subscribers of the Wild Chronicles. Oh, so this is actually a letter from the author, which is cool. I am overjoyed. These rubber waves were selected for the August box. Overjoyed and insanely jealous. I'm based in the US and visiting Australia has always been a dream of mine. It's nice knowing my book can at least hang out with you. These Rebels Waves was accumulation of my obsessions, the golden age of piracy, the Spanish Inquisition, Coloni colonial <laughs> influences, themes of religion and belief, and of course, deliciously snarky characters. As you read, I hope you find something within the pages that spurs your own obsession. Welcome to the island of Grace Leroy. Mark Wizard. That's a really pretty letter, though. I'm just trying to read them up. <laughs> Can't speak. So, obviously, the book is These Rebel Ways by Sarah Rush, and I just thought it was going to be this book, because I'm looking at things, and I'm like, well, what's something about pirates? Well, obviously, it might be this book. I'm glad it's not Mirage, though, because I, like, bought that in hardcover already, and I'm like, no, no, don't you do Mirage to me, because I need that book. But I'm excited to have this, and I actually was going to put on my anticipated reads, because, like, Snow Like Ashes was, like, an okay series, but, like, I loved the first book, hated the second book, and the third book was, like, better. But, like, so I wasn't really sure if I was going to like another series by her, but, I mean, now that I have it from the Wire Chronicles, I might as well give it a go. Well, this box was actually epic, even though I got spoiled. Like, I tried not to look at the bookish items. They were all pretty much still surprising, but still, I'm stingy about it. But I'm excited to have my new box and all my new bookish goodies. And just like, yes, they've really stepped up the game, though. Like, this is a great box. But anyway, guys, thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you guys later. Bye!